Hello and welcome to Side History. In the history of warfare, one side often has an advantage of some kind. Winning a battle can come down to how well the commanders take advantage of or minimize these advantages. In today's video, we explore the history of Operation Bolo and how the U.S. Air Force overcame a tactical disadvantage by using unconventional tactics to achieve a stunning victory over the North Vietnamese. It was late 1966 in the skies over Vietnam, and the United States Air Force was facing a determined enemy. Due to political limitations at the time, the Johnson administration had limited bombing in North Vietnam. This made the airfields of the Vietnam People's Air Force off-limits. The airfields effectively became safe zones, and the North Vietnamese Air Force could return to the safety of their air bases at the first sign of trouble. This gave the North Vietnamese a clear advantage as they could choose the time and place to engage their targets from the safety of their bases. Knowing this, the North Vietnamese would only launch their valued MiG-21 aircraft when they knew they had the upper hand. Such was the case with the Republic F-105 Thunder Chief. The MiG-21 far outclassed the bomber and it would only attack when they would run without escorts and could get the upper hand. The North Vietnamese used these hit-and-run tactics during the American Operation Rolling Thunder. By the end of 1966, the North Vietnamese had shot down 14 F-105s without occurring a single loss. During their missions, the bomber crews relied on predictable flight patterns, and the North Vietnamese enemy intelligence made them an easy target. The United States needed a cunning plan to counter the Vietnamese MiG-21 and their threat to the American bombers. During the Vietnam War, the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom served as the primary air superiority attack fighter for the United States Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps. The Phantom was developed by the United States Navy and first flew in May of 1958. By the 1970s, the aircraft had become the preeminent air superiority fighter for the United States and its allies. The McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom was powered by two General Electric J-79 GE 17A axle compressor turbojet engines. These were capable of pushing the aircraft to Mach 2.2. The F-4's primary weapon was four AAM Sparrow III radar-guided missiles. It was further capable of carrying 19,000 pounds of weapons, was enough to tackle any enemy in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. The MiG-21 was an air superiority fighter developed by the Soviet Union in 1959. Its simple design, fighting capability, and low cost made it one of the most popular aircraft among the Soviet allies. The MiG-21 single Tomowski R1 engine could deliver 12,650 pounds of thrust and push the aircraft to Mach 2.05. Like the F-4 Phantom, it was a multi-role fighter armed with two K-13 infrared homing anti-aircraft missiles, or two 500-pound bombs. Operation Bolo was conceived after Colonel Robin Olds took command of the 8th Tactical Fighter Wing after a series of devastating losses. Colonel Olds enhanced the training and fighting spirit of the 8th, referring to the pilots as the Wolf Pack because of their teamwork and aggressiveness. Olds and a cadre of officers devised a plan to face the MiG-21 on more favorable terms. The 8th tactical officer, Captain John Stone, conceived of a plan to lure the North Vietnamese MiG-21s into combat at a disadvantage. The F-4 Phantom would mimic the electronic signature, formation, and flight plan of the F-105 bombers. The F-105 bomber was a favorite target of the MiG-21s due to its relatively low airspeed and maneuverability. Using the element of surprise, the plan aimed to take advantage of the short range of the MiG-21 and force them into combat against the F-4 Phantom. On January 2, 1967, the Wildcats F-4 Phantoms approached the target area from the west, following the same path, altitude, and formation as an F-105 bombing run. At the same time, other Wolfpack F-4 Phantoms arrived from the east to prevent the MiGs from escaping to China or returning to their airfields in North Vietnam. Despite some difficulties brought about by cloudy weather, Operation Bolo was a huge success. Colonel Olds shot down a MiG-21, and his fellow 8th F-4 pilots shot down six others during the 12-minute battle. 
This was a significant loss for the North Vietnamese. Although the total number of aircraft lost is actually disputed, we know that of the 16 total MiG-21s in the theater, between 5 and 9 were lost during the 12-minute battle. At the same time, none of the F-4 Wildcats were lost during the battle. The loss represented nearly half the operational MiG-21s in the theater, and caused the North Vietnamese and their Soviet allies to suspend flying operations for months. By the end of the war, Colonel Olds had completed 152 combat missions, and the 8th Wolf Pack finished 100,000 combat sorties. Operation Bolo is regarded as a monumental success. Colonel Olds and his Wildcats showed great initiative in what is termed today as thinking outside the box. They took the assets that they had, an understanding of enemy tactics, and used those against them. To quote from Sun Tzu, The Art of War, All warfare is based on deception. Hence, when we can attack, we must seem unable. When using our force, we must appear inactive. When we are near, we must appear far. When far away, we must make them believe that we are near. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments about the F-4 Phantom's role in the Vietnam Air War or Operation Bolo, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.